Hey, I'm Dark North. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'll be talking about how to build a Sealy. Or a Sila? Zila? Let me know how you say her name in the comments below. I'm just gonna call her Sealy, so I hope you can bear with me. Her best relic set is the quantum set. The two piece gives 10% quantum damage bonus, but the four piece actually lets her ignore 10% defense. And if the enemy has a quantum weakness, she ignores another 10% defense. So the four piece bonus actually is really good. Probably one of the better ones of all the sets we have in the game. Really, really good for her. So we definitely want to try to force the four piece set if you can. If you can't, that's fine. You can run the two piece musketeer set as well, which will be fine until you get the four piece set. But the four piece set with the 20% defense shred on quantum weak enemies is gonna increase her damage by a lot. For the two piece set for the spear and rope, you want to use the inert cell soda set, which gives you 8% crit rate and 15% damage to follow up attacks and ultimate when your crit rate reaches 50%, which is something you're going to be aiming for anyway. You can get this set from Simulated Universe World 6. So now let's talk about the main stats. These two are fixed. For this, you want to go for crit damage or crit rate, depending on what you need. If you already have a 50% crit rate or more, you can go for crit damage like me. Or if you don't have enough crit rate, you can go for a crit rate body piece. For the feet, you want to go for attack percent. You don't really need to go speed and main stat on Sealy because her base speed is really high and her skill also gives herself a speed buff. So her speed will naturally be pretty good. Even in late game content, you will be able to keep up with the enemy's speed. So you don't really have to worry about speed on her. But if you are struggling to reach the speed requirements to take advantage of her signature light cone you can run speed main stat for the spear you want to go for a quantum damage boost and for the rope you want to go for attack percentage the substats you're going to be looking for are crit rate crit damage attack percent and speed so let's talk about the best light cones for Sealy. her signature light cone is the best for her it gives her a lot of crit rate and then increases the basic attack and skill damage by six percent and the crit damage of the ultimate by 12 percent for every 10 speed you have over 100. So if you have 160 speed, you'll be able to take full advantage of this light cone and you can get there with her skill, speed buff and substats for speed. But if you are unable to get there, you can go for speed main stat boots, like I said earlier. The second gacha five star light cone is good for the first line, which is increases crit damage by 30%, which is pretty good. The second line is not that great as it can only be triggered once every three turns, which is a huge downtime. And the free 5 star light cone you get from Huda Shop is also really good as, as you can superimpose Vibus very easily and it gives you 16% crit rate directly and then gives you another 16% crit rate on enemies with less than half health. So that's a lot of crit rate that you get for free which makes building her a lot easier. The attack bonus is also nice as it does go hand in hand with her resurgence procs. For the 4 star option, swordplay is really good because even at R1 it gives you basically 40% damage bonus and 80% if you have it at superimpose 5 which is a lot. This stacks up to 5 times if you hit the same enemy. Now this counts even if you hit the same enemy with one skill multiple times. So say for example, a character with this light cone hits an enemy with one skill three times, that will give you three stacks. So it's not that difficult to stack it. And this is really good in boss fights. So if you're doing Forgotten Halls and you're doing Simulated Universe and you're using Sealy against one enemy, this will be up pretty much all the time. But even if you attack someone else, you'll be able to restack it really quickly as multiple hits of the same skill will count as separate stacks. So it's pretty easy to stack up and it gives you a lot of damage bonus. So really good four star option. The battle pass light cone is also good because it gives you 12% crit rate. The second line is not that great as it is a 16% chance to dispel a buff on the target, which is really low. But just for the first line, the crit rate, it is nice. Subscribe for more is also really good. It increases her basic attack and skill damage by 24%. The second half is something that you may not always have. It is conditional, but just the first half, 24% is really good. This unfortunately does not affect her ultimate, so you are losing out damage there. But if you don't have the other options, this is still a really good option compared to the rest of them. River Flows in Spring is okay. It gives you speed and gives you damage bonus, but the effect will go away if you take damage and then you have to wait another turn to regain the buff, which is annoying and makes this conditional. And I feel the other options are better. 
Only Silence Remains gives you attack percentage, which is not as valuable as damage bonus, which the other four star light cones give you. So this is not really a good option. The crit rate is nice if you are fighting two or fewer enemies. So if you're fighting single target bosses or you're fighting bosses that don't spawn a lot of ads, this can be used. So now let's talk about her traces. Her first bonus ability is not that great. It's nice, but you don't really need it. So you can hold off of leveling this if you are focusing on your other character's traces and come back to this later. But you do want to do this later on as it does give you crit damage and attack percent. Her second bonus ability is really good. It gives her quantum res pen shred. So this will increase her damage a lot when she is in her buffed state. So this is really good. It also unlocks more attack and crit damage. And the third bonus ability is also nice is it increases her action by 20%. So she'll just take even more turns, which is always nice. And it does unlock the 10% crit damage node as well, which is something you wanna get. And that's a short guide on how to build Sealy. If you have any questions or corrections, you can leave them down below in the comments. And if you found this helpful, consider leaving a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, do sub to the channel. I'm Darknote. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.